So yeah, let's do this. I think our number one goal as a band is to evolve as artists, to work together better, to understand what we're doing better. This is a lifetime dream. If that means working jobs and playing weekends, you know, for the rest of our, our lives, the only, only guarantee that we have is to do what we do and keep it together. I'm Luke. I play in a band called Dreamers of the Ghetto. We're here in Philadelphia to record a song for Shaking Through. I know your voice I hear it from the depths of the void Ooh. Your needs frequency I'll transmit before you pass me How'd that feel? I don't feel like we played as well, but... Tempo, did, it, did you think that you didn't play it well because it was too fast? It's, yeah. It felt comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep it there. Let's try okay. it again. When my love gets heavy. Well, we're partly a family band. My wife, Lauren, is in the band. My brother, Jonathan, is in the band. And then our good friend, Marty, is a member. We live right there in Bloomington, moved into a house all together, so we would have plenty of time to work on the stream. What you don't get in Bloomington, what you get in bigger cities is a, is a sense of competition that really drives a lot of bands forward. I think it's important for bands and artists to get out of your comfort zone. Their pads in the right space, and I just feel like they can really thrive with that, that sort of, um, in that sort of environment. We're critical only when we're basically rehearsing for like a big show, you know? Everything else is like, let's, let's try it. Let's do it, you know? We, don't, we won't know until we try it. I'll play it for you. Like that. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Perfect. It's like, when it dawns on you that you're getting like hung up on something that really <laughs> doesn't matter. We just recorded a song called Heavy Love. Marty came in with this beat and it just immediately started provoking the melody and the lyrics spontaneously, you know, started coming out. Yeah, I like the, just everything between us is she. This, I feel like the imagery's there. It's got several themes, but probably the strongest is our uh, desire for someone. That's the basis of the song the need for intimacy. There's some desperation in there, but I think that that's, that's the human part, is that we need it. Try, try and do it softer, do it a little softer, try it. Whoa, that's real whoa, high. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you that's can do it. That's real high. I know. Walk through walls. Okay, yeah, go do it, thank you. Looking out for Looking out for you. Looking out for you. Sounds good. I knew it would fit your voice. <laughs> I rarely see bands that are so in it for the right reasons. What they're doing is something that they have no choice but to do, which is just be themselves. And I love that. Jonathan and I were out, I think last night, outside smoking a, you know, a cigarette, and he was just like, man, we're here, we're doing it, and this is like what we want, and this is what we love. They're amazing people. I think that's where it starts, to pull them out of like their comfort zone in Bloomington and plop them in with a bunch of rad people in a rad studio, it's priceless. There's something deep down in me, at least, that still believes that music is a virtuous pursuit, and they're virtuous. I've never had, had this kind of relationship, you know, in any of the bands I played with before. They were just bands, and this, like, this doesn't feel like a band. This just feels like I'm living and creating with the people that I love. My love gets heavy. 